Hello everyone and welcome back to the farm. We hope y'all have been doing well out there. Well, we're not quite back up to full production yet. It looks like it might be maybe by the end of next weekend we'll be back up to full production on the salad. But that's some good news. We do have some out here we can harvest. We plan to do that uh, actually Friday, today being Thursday. So a little bit more, a little bit more time until we have back up to full production, but I think everything's going to be all right. Uh, smooth sailing after that, unless uh, something major happens. Who knows? Anything can happen right in the future. Well, we'll be at the South County Seasonal Farmers Market from 9 a.m. until 1 p.m. this Saturday. Our website will open up at 8 p.m. tonight, which is Thursday night, and close back down at 8 p.m. on Friday night. And the deliveries for Franklin County will start right around 11 a.m. Our products can also be found at these locations. Canada Save a Bit, 24800 Virgil H. Goode Highway in Boone's Mill. Melvin's Farm to Fork Store, 1120 Peters Pike Road in Wurtz, Virginia. Mountain View Country Market, 6460 Grassy Hill Road in Boone's Mill. Woods Farms, 2921 Naff Road, also in Boone's Mill. Saturdays at the South County Seasonal Farmers Market, 3565 Electric Road in Roanoke. Also, Sidecar Restaurant, 411 First Street downtown Roanoke. All right, and like I said a minute ago, we haven't harvested the salad yet, so I can take you around and show you what it looks like before we do harvest and show you what salads what salad will be ready here, uh, hopefully by or around about next weekend or so. Well, let's go take a peek. All right, we'll start over here as usual. These lettuces right here aren't quite ready, but they will be by next week, hopefully. Maybe one week after that. We should be harvesting off these over here. As you can see in the top there, we have some radish and some more radish here. Let's cruise down this way. Some lettuce transplants here. Looks like we might be able to get a few cuts off of some of these heads. These up here aren't looking quite as good as the ones down here I'm going to show you. The lettuce directly in screen here, it will be definitely more than a week on those. But here are some of those lettuces that are looking a little better. Not all of them, but some of them. So that's some good news. We won't have absolutely zero salad. Let's head to the other tunnel. Here are some pretty nice looking lettuces. And some radish right up there is about ready to produce some good roots there. Walk down through here. And here's the big batch of salad. I was talking about earlier it's just not quite ready yet there's quite a bit of it here <clears throat> so we're hoping this will be ready before next weekend by next weekend or shortly after next next weekend but we will see look at this kale over here i believe this is red boar now ah, let's head down to the second gordon and here we are. Some more kale right there. I think that's red Russian. I could be totally mistaken. Let's see here. A few more onions that are still going. Radish right here that needs to be harvested after I get finished with this video. Sweet potatoes are still looking great. Carrots are coming along. Beets are coming in, but it looks like it's some spotty germination. I'd like to have more beets than what we do. Peppers are looking pretty nice. I've already came through here and harvested these this morning, so there's probably not really a whole lot to see. Right down through here. It's more of the asparagus that we've been harvesting off of. Right there. It's really difficult for me to see the screen, so hopefully y'all are seeing what I'm seeing here, or hoping y'all see. All right, we'll cut through these peppers. And we'll just cruise on down through here. I don't know what she planted here. I can't remember. She told me this morning, but I cannot remember. And the broccolini and the tomatoes are looking pretty good. Been down here harvesting those about every other day. But we've been selling a lot of them. A whole lot of those have been selling. And I'm going to break the golden rule here. I'm going to walk backwards. 
so it might be a little bouncy. We do have some of these lettuces here that could be harvested off of, not looking too awful bad. Some of them, of course, aren't looking too good at all. Well, let's walk right over here and see what Anna's up to. She's out here harvesting some of these Roma 2 beans. Generally, when we do the bush bean grid system, it's usually just one time. But for some reason, these Roma 2s, for some reason, they've got a whole lot of beans on the bottom. And they're just about mature. But the beans on top, I've barely even done anything yet, which is quite uncommon from what we've noticed. This is not the first time we've grown Roma 2s in a bush bean grid system either. So I think what we're going to do is lighten the load on these, and we might be able to have some of these for you guys at the farmer's market. Let me scoot in here and just show you kind of how they're looking. Hopefully you all can see that if I can get below the leaf. Bring it to a little better light maybe. Anyway, some of these plants are really loaded down, and some of them hardly have any on them. So... Let's see here, so like this plant right here, I mean, it is just, it's loaded down with beans. So maybe y'all will get some of that. It should be nice and, uh, excuse me, it should be nice and tasty. And more carrots through here, the germination is looking quite nice. Well guys, just a little quick tour of the garden, let y'all see what's happening. We'll see y'all soon.